So I'm Doug Sharp, and I'm the Global Product Manager for Gaming, Audio, and Headsets. So uh, at the core of the design of the headset, this design is user experience, it's everything really, is, is the audio experience. So the first thing that we started with was me coming up here and talking to Tracy about our design and about our drivers and what we could do. Um, People love the G930 so much, and which is our, you know, our older wireless headset. And they all said that they love the audio experience. But they would say, for a gaming headset. And I really wanted to get rid of that for the gaming headset part. So I came up and started talking to Tracy. I was like, what can we do? And he's like, I have an idea. I have this new driver. I've been working on this driver concept. And so we talked about it. And he put it into a prototype for me. And I got to take it back down to the offices in Newark, California and let everybody listen to it, and everyone was blown away. The second part of the design, where we were talking about usability and, and the look, so we knew we wanted a headset that what went beyond PC. Because gamers live all over the house, right? You want to use listen to music, you have movies are fun, important, you watch movies on your PC, you watch movies in the living room, you're playing your console. So having 3.5 jacks and having that mobile connectivity was super important. So we knew we wanted to add that. That was one of the core design elements, right, from a usability standpoint. People love Dolby. Dolby's a great cinematic experience, but DTS is great too. And the choice came up, do we want to offer Dolby or DTS? And the answer was, why not both? We should really have both. Um, and then we started looking at the way it looked. So we've been kind of uh, known as, as a good gaming gear, but very stable and very, uh, you know, that we, we don't break, we're super, super durable, people we have it for a very long time, and we needed to update our, our visual look. We have a lot of cool new products, our new G502 mouse, we've got these, you know, it's sleeker black, we've got cyan. We're trying to inspire people when they get to their desk to win, right? Because it's not just about the performance. Performance is just important, but it also is about that inspiration. Like, you have to have gear that makes those cool. I would say inspirations we looked at were like the NASA robotic suits. We looked at new movies like Prometheus, where the design is amazing. I love gear. Um, we looked at, you know, Pacific Rim, Guillermo del Toro's art's amazing. It's got this mech structure. We started going down these different lines of uh, mech and this sort of armadillo look, where it was this very sleek, like one single plate. And we had uh, billet. We had this like custom machined kind of design. So we kind of, we ended up going for something that was in the middle. It was sort of like uh, mechanical and armadillo, we combined them. We called it mechadillo. <laughs> Just like nerds would, right? Uh, so, um, so we got, we think it's the best of both of those worlds. And we made it look aggressive and beautiful and have some cool lines and fun. And it's fun. You kind of have to take it in that sense that this is gaming equipment, it's fun. Uh, I think it looks pretty serious without the lights on. But, I, but I, it definitely has that science fiction edge. So, so through the design process, right? I'm, I'm, a, I'm an industrial designer. I did a lot of, you know, it's my major in school. Um, and so I love working with my hands and all the design team I, I work with, they love working with their hands. So I think that's kind of the initial start. We did a lot of drawings, we all sketch. And the team's way better than me, they're amazing. But it was really cool to be able to interact with them on that level. And we get CNC foam models, we cut them down, uh, and then we'd use sandpaper. And we'd start like, you know, smoothing stuff out and changing edges and modifying stuff, and it's really fun. I think, I think designer is really good design. You kind of think with your hands to start anyway. It's kind of very tactile. So the, I would say the main goal, the thing that was a zero compromise was the audio quality. That was a zero compromise, right? Um, just as important, was the, you at the user experience with the function, how it felt, all the touch points, right? That it felt good on your head and it was comfort and that's like super important. Uh, and then third is like the look and the styling and the customization and the RGB lights. But we had to do it 100%. Yeah, I get, I, we ask that a lot and what, you know, but it was a, there's always really healthy friction between them between the departments. It's not like a personality thing. I'm not saying that type of friction, but just the, we need this thing, but we've got these limitations. We need the best audio, but the housing will only store this much. We need uh, the best brightness, but the battery can only take this much. 
and it's it's awesome because all the all the teams work together to overcome everything, and I would say we we did a really good job, like this, this coming overcoming all this stuff. It was it's pretty amazing. I'm really happy. <laughs> Thank you.